This is the Uruzgan province in Afghanistan, an area surrounded by snow-capped mountain peaks and deep valleys. It's an area in which Australian, US, Singaporean and Slovakian troops operate with a new coalition mission focus to give back responsibility for the region's security to local Afghan commanders. Throughout Afghanistan, ISAF has supported a number of provincial operational coordination centres known as OCCPs, where coalition soldiers train and advise Afghan commanders. The coordination centre for Uruzgan is located in the main township of Tarankot and brings together Afghan commanders from the Army, Police and National Directorate of Security, known as the NDS. But advising team commanders in Uruzgan stress that the OCCP mission focus here is not to build a mirror of the coalition forces, but to help Afghan officers build an effective local security force with its own identity. None of us are here saying that we need to turn these guys into Australian officers, coalition officers, American officers. Um, in, in fact, the more we work with these guys, the more we, uh, we can absorb lessons from them that we can apply in our own professional behaviour. Uh, that said, by giving them the benefit of some of our experiences and our training, um, they, can, they can probably choose what they decide uh, works for them and they can discard what uh, doesn't really apply. The OCCP in Tarrant is unique as it's led by a joint command of US and Australian forces. Lieutenant Colonel Phillips is a coordination centre commander here and he believes it's important to realise that Afghan soldiers and officers have a wealth of experience built from decades of fighting in the region. He says the OCCP in Uruzgan does not force coalition military attitudes onto Afghan commanders and sees it as crucial that any advice given on the planning and execution of security operations must maintain relevance after ISAF forces leave the region and units are operating under their own capabilities. We're not trying to teach them to do things the way the coalition does it because once the coalition leaves, if it's not working for them and they don't understand it, then they're not going to sustain it. That's not what we're about. We're about finding Afghan sustainable solutions that will uh, endure long after we've gone. It's less than two years before ISAF plans to end its mission in Afghanistan, and this will mean that soon the security and stability of the country will rest in the hands of Afghan security forces and police. Local advisers here in Uruzgan are confident their focus on helping Afghan commanders refine and build on their already vast knowledge will ensure they're ready to help Afghanistan into a stable future. Even if we left now, there would be a, a fusion of information, there'd be a capability that they would demonstrate and would have an effect outside in the province. Um, the sustainability of that I think is quite good because the leaders, the, the commander of the 4th Brigade, the, uh, the, the police chief and the directors of the NDS in this area all seem to support the OCCP and, uh, and they keep posting good people into it. So I think that's, that says a, a lot for its future. This is John Corlett in Uruzgan for the NATO Channel.